And all right, welcome back to another Kuma Style Review. I'm your host, TJ Duckett, and right now we have Mock Toys, um, Green Giant, or Giant Type 6-1. Um, play on words, letters, whatever. It's supposed to mean G1. But before I go ahead and unbox these guys to review them, I want you guys to check out the box first, because that's one of the big distinctions between the Green Giant and Yellow Giant sets, where the Yellow Giant came in three sets of two, this one comes in a, a nice box set of six, so that's really cool. So just going and checking out the front here, picture of Giant and guest alt mode with the new head and the individual box. And take a look at one of the sides, it looks like Giant and guest alt mode there, once again showing off that new head. The back, kind of a show on the individual bots, the robot, and their alt modes, as well as some of the features of Green Giant itself, like the new axe mode using the crane. And yeah, it also comes with the screwdrivers, the new face with the moving mouth. Looks like it also comes with the old face and just a nice little transformation, whatever picture. Top of the box here, just some more of the bots in robot mode, and then the guest sold over on the right hand side. Let's check out that other side. Alright, individual box and the bottom. Same as the top, except we have the box in alt mode and the guest sold on the side. So, yeah, really, really neat box. Kind of a Throwback to the G1 boxes and things like that with the grid lines and stuff. Um, also reminiscent of Munitioner Explorer from Fans Project, whose boxes came with uh, grid lines on the front and things like that. I do wish that it had like an open and flap or something like that, like the reissue um, Takara G1 toys do. But minor gripe and yeah, overall cool box. Next we'll go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Alright, and unfortunately we do have some light on the other side giving some glare, but I want to show how it comes inside of the box. This is actually really, really cool. It makes me really wish that this had um, an open door or whatever on the front of the box. It actually comes in dissected yes dog mode with the two arms. Alright. Shoulders, torso, legs. Yeah, everything's pretty much in combined form or whatever, just not put together. And it has both the new face and the alternate head there as well. Um, this is incredible, incredible packaging. If this had um, an open box or whatever, I would not m mind leaving one of mine um, in the box just to show off like this. So that's really cool. Small boy wanted to add that in. Alright, let's go ahead and get started reviewing this bad boy. First, I just want to show off that it does come with the same accessories as the Mock Toy Yellow Giant in the sense of the gun pieces and things like that, as well as the forearms and arms that can be pulled by, um, is it mixer and wheel loader while they're in alt mode? I'm not exactly going to go into all of the different configurations for these accessories while they're in robot and alt modes and things like that because there are so many, but the instructions are very fair and accurate when it comes to where you can peg these things and stuff like that. It's literally like a hundred different configurations that you can have with these, what, six accessories? So yeah. But speaking of which, I want to go ahead and get started with the robot modes of these guys. And we will start off with Dump Truck. Personally, he's one of my favorites. Really close to being my favorite. Let's go ahead and zoom out a bit so we can take a look at him. And yeah, just a really neat updated homage of the character. I really do love the green on these things. It's really reminiscent of the G1 toy. They hit the colors just marvelously. taking a look. And one thing that I wish they had fixed from the yellow version, as you can see here, the heels 
don't quite match up with the level of the feet. So you have to kind of lean his legs forward and things like that to get him to stand up. He doesn't have that back support. As you can see there, he falls when you try to push him back. But he's still a fairly stable figure, but I mean, decent ankle support would put him over the top. So, speaking of the devil, let's go ahead and look at his articulation. Fully ball jointed head. Well, not fully ball jointed. Goes side to side. It's on a ball joint, but it doesn't really do much. He's got a lot of plastic in the back, so he doesn't really look up. Can look down, definitely. Uh, side to side works. Shoulders, it helps that there is the swivel here due to the transformation. His shoulders themselves are fully on ball joints. Definitely has bicep swivel. Okay, full elbow articulation. And wrist that bend. Alright, ratcheting waist, which is really cool. It's also the waist for Devastator himself, or Giant in this case. So it makes sense to why it's got that strong ratchet. Same with the hips, fully ratcheting, full articulation, and the knees, of course, since they're sheared. Pretty much all points of articulation on him, from the waist down, are used for Devastator. And boom, we have our dump truck. And it's nice, all four wheels roll, nice looking toy, and yeah. Make sure that that's correct, but yeah, good times. Look at the top of it. And that's that, that's Dump Truck. Okay, and now we're taking a look at my absolute favorite of the bunch. It is Mixer, and he's also the tallest of the group. He's actually at about six and a half inches or so. So he is very, very, very tall for a deluxe size toy, especially without being extremely lanky and stuff like that. Just so we can take a look at him. Okay, make sure he's standing up straight. Take a look at the back there for him. The side. Okay, and there we go. Alright, now taking a look at his posability. His head is enclosed in that area, but he does have the ability to move his head side to side, stuff like that. Shoulders, definitely on full ball joints there. A little bit of restriction because of that tire, but nothing too crazy. Okay, fully ball jointed elbows. And even though his wrists look like it because there are slits in them, unfortunately there's no bend at the wrist. Waist is definitely on a ball joint. And yeah, full bend at the knees and rocker feet. So they do have that side to side movement and stuff like that, which definitely adds to his posability. And it's really impressive, especially for him being a larger toy with the ankle support, rocker joints, stuff like that. They really took care of making him, you know, nice and posable, which is cool, which is definitely cool. So yeah, taking a look at that. And there you go, there's Mixer in robot mode. Alright now, and getting a chance to look at Mixer's alt mode here. Definitely looks good. I know a lot of people had complaints about the red and white striping or whatever, but it doesn't stand out as much in person as it seemed to in the prototype pictures and stuff like that, which is awesome. So... And some stuff knocked down. And uh, cloth off my lamp there. But yeah, overall, just a solid, good looking cement mixer. No complaints. Okay, and not necessarily my favorite, but one of the ones with the most options here um, Mobile Crane. Definitely. As you can see, they went ahead and gave this one the option of the removable crane from the alt mode, which the yellow version didn't have. You could do it manually, but you had to like unscrew and do some things on your own. But it does peg into the back right there. Or 
where it sets or where it pegs in in alt mode, you can take those pegs, put it on the bottom of the arm, like so. Maybe make him, you know, go at it that way or something like that. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of the crane extended, so I like to just keep it in the back. For now, I'll just go ahead and put it away to take a look at the figure. Head's definitely on a ball joint. Ball jointed shoulders, no bicep swivel, unfortunately. Um, elbow swivel, no um, articulation in the wrist at all. No waist swivel. Okay. Thighs on ball joints, thigh swivel, full bend at the knees, and no ankle support or anything like that. But since his head or his right foot actually doubles as the head for the guest alt. That one does kind of have some movement in there and things like that, but nothing too crazy. Overall, you know, he looks great, but he's just not one that's too super, I guess, posable, you know? Well, he's plenty posable, but just not playable. He just doesn't have the articulation of a lot of the rest of these ones or whatever, which is unfortunate because, like I said, he looks fantastic. Zoom in on him a bit there. I mean, yeah, just take a minute to take a look at them from all sides and things like that. Okay, and once again, this is Mobile Crane from Giant Type 6-1. Okay, and there we go. Now let's take a look at the alt mode. Alright, and taking a look here at the alt mode of Mobile Crane. I'm going to go ahead and reattach that piece that we had deattached in alt mode. There are four pegs on, actually, two, three, four, five, six pegs on here, but three on there, and it just, honestly, pegs right in. It's just beautiful how easy they made that. Another thing that was cool, they actually made the crane itself posable, too. So that's neat, and it still extends, still bends over, and everything like that. Just like the, just like the yellow version. So really cool. All right, go ahead and zoom back in here, just to take a better look at it. Go ahead and detract the crane. There we go. There we go. And I don't know whether to say I'm sorry or what, but I didn't include transformations in this video because they really are extremely simple and also this is a pretty long review so don't think that I didn't have it in mind but at the same time to save time and things like that especially for stuff that's in the instructions sometimes you gotta cut it out because I have a feeling this is already gonna be near 30 minutes as it is but anyways just going ahead and once again looking at mobile cranes alt mode yeah it's really cool alright and taking a look at wheel loader here Definitely, you know, if Mixer's my favorite, he's easily my second favorite. Um, just an awesome, really cool ninja type aesthetic. And I just love him to death, to be honest with you. I really find few faults in the aesthetic of this figure. But in terms of articulation, let's take a look at that. Now, he does have head on a ball joint, but the shovel kind of you know keeps that out of the way of doing too much shoulders also on ball joints but once again the shovel does hinder some of the movement full um, wrist rotation here or duh bicep swivel no wrist rotation but it does move in and out some give him a little bit of variance there he does have swivel at the waist but he's got a lot of kibble on the back here so that does keep you know, him from going all the way around and things like that. Alright. Ball jointed thighs. Definitely has or thigh articulation there. The thigh swivel. Full bend at the knees. And awesome, awesome rocker ankles. Which is cool. I just love rocker ankles. I really do. Really do. So yeah, overall good figure. Kind of limited by the kibble, like the shovel and the back or whatever but not horrible you know the looks more than make up for it in my opinion but at the same time you know those going for 
just that overall super playable toy, they're not exactly going to get it with this one, especially in the upper body area. So let's go ahead and look at his alt mode. Alright, and looking at the alt mode of Mixmaster here. Very detailed. Once again, the red stripes not rubbing me wrong by any means whatsoever. Definitely rolls on all four wheels there. And yeah, just a good look. The shovel does move up and down. No pebbles or pivots or anything crazy. Unfortunately, the shovel itself doesn't have articulation or anything like that. But at the same time, it's definitely not one of those things that makes it feel like a total loss by any means. Let me go ahead and align his wheels correctly. Sheesh. So yeah. And there you go. There is Wheel Loader's Alt Mode. Give you guys a chance to look at it. Look at it. <laughs> look at it some more. Yeah. Definitely not bad. Probably my favorite alt mode outside of the coolness of the crane on mobile crane out of any of them. Just looks good. And alright, for our last two bot and alt modes, we have Bulldozer right here and Excavator over here. The reason that I'm going ahead and reviewing these together is because they are pretty much the exact same thing with some slight retools. They're almost like the Lambo twins of the Green Giant Bots or the Giant Bots in general. So looking at the posability of one, it's the exact same posability of the other. They make the two arms, they use the treads the same way and things like that. There are minor differences though, so I'll go ahead and look at one for the articulation, then I'll look at the differences. Okay, fully ball jointed heads here. Shoulders on ball joints, bicep swivel, elbow articulation, and rotating wrist. Make sure this one has rotating wrist too. Okay. Um, they do have some play at the thighs, but they both have this kibble on the back from where the arms connect that completely just impedes that unless you want to take it down and make it look like a huge tail behind them which is just atrocious. Um, swivel on the thighs, full knee bend, and rotating feet with ankle support. So pretty good in terms of support and stuff like that. Just not totally poseable, kind of a hollow build to them. And yeah, out of all of them, these two are probably my least favorite. It is neat that he has the shovel here and stuff like that on his arm for some good old shoveling action, I guess. I, I really don't know. Oops. But yeah, once again, that's Bulldozer and Excavator. Take one more look at them. Like I said, not my two favorites. Sorry if you feel like I'm not giving them adequate time, but I am trying here, so, you know, there's just not too much to them. We'll go ahead and take a look at the art modes next, though. Okay, and taking a quick look at the alt modes of, I'll switch them up, Bulldozer on the left, Excavator on the right here. Yeah, um, they kind of are what they are. Movable shovel, movable shovel part on this end too. And this one does have articulation to it, unlike wheel loader. Uh, kind of miffed at the fact that they don't have... Um, wheels on the bottom to roll, but it's, it's nothing that's too crazy huge. I've gotten over it since I've been used to the yellow not having wheels on the bottom, you know, for a bit. But just to go ahead and take a look at them here. Alright, and there we go. The... Alt modes of Bulldozer and Excavator. And up next, we've got Guest Alt Mode. Dun, dun, dun. All right, and finally, Guest Alt Mode. What you guys see right here is a lot of stuff. I've already pre-assembled the pieces into their Guest Alt forms, um, as you can do as well by looking at the instruction booklets. But let's go ahead and get this guy together. I'll go ahead and start off with wheel loader and mixer 
since they're the feet. Make sure to press the buttons to extend the um, ankle articulation out on each of these. On wheel loader here, it's actually located. You kind of have to do it before you even transform it in alt mode. It's located right in front of this piston here. So that's where his button is. And on mixer, they're on the sides of the um, mixer barrel right there and on the other side as well so you just press those in and it extends out and it's also the way you press them back in for alt mode, bot mode, etc, etc so going ahead taking dump truck and just clicking him into each side okay and boom, we're part way there. Yes. Zoom out even more. This is awesome. We are going to take mobile crane. Make sure that you extend his crane out so that you can actually fold it in half there. And then make sure that the crane actually stays on. Okay. He pops into place as well. Making sure that I'm doing this correctly on both sides. Okay, there's that. All right, and now for the two arms, I'll go ahead and take bulldozer. Oh, we have to take the flaps off of the arm ports as I just popped one of mine off of the hinge. But you just flip that side up. Also flip the other side up, and there are buttons in the back. They are located approximately right there, right there. Both gray, and you have to press them in while they are while you're pushing those arms in, or else they won't go in all the way. And basically, you'll lose all ratcheting or whatever in the arms. So make sure that you peg those arms in right, or you're gonna have some problems in terms of his articulation and things like that. That's one arm on. Get him close so you can see. Get the other arm on here. Feel for the button if I can. There we go. I actually got it. Okay. Take this side in. Get in hard. Okay. And it's a little bit different to do off camera or on camera. So sorry for Taking the thigh of excavator off here, but go ahead and get that put back on. Okay. Get that all back together. And boom, there we go. Alright, and there's that. Now we just have to go ahead and put the forearm pieces on and they each simply snap right in ratchet that out so I have some room okay snap that side in alright make sure it's the right hand yes great and I will snap this side in as well so very cool, get those fists turned around. And there we go. We have, we officially have, Make Toys's Giant Type 6-1. Now there are some other things that I want to go ahead and go over with this bot. But first I'm just going to go ahead and show off the basics to them. Like I said, it does come with the gun pieces here. So I'll go ahead and put giant back. Oh, almost forgot to put his chest piece on. That's sort of kind of important. Let's get that on. Glad that I had all my accessories right there. Definitely makes it easy to remember. Okay, and that just pegs in three places. So that's that. And as far as putting his guns together, let's go ahead and Take each half. Put 
back piece, like so. Clips in very easy. And same with the two ends of the front piece. Once again, just extremely easy. Nothing crazy about it at all. Okay, make sure the scope is up correctly. And there you go, there's his, there's his rifle. I didn't get his hands out here. And the cool thing about this rifle is that it actually slides in instead of having to peg or anything like that. So you don't even have to have his fingers cuffs to have it, but there you go. There is Make Toys, Maki Toys, whatever you want to call them, Green Giant. So let's go ahead and go over the playability of this guy, and we'll start at the top. So let's go ahead and get things focused here, get some light on this guy, and yeah, head's definitely on a ball joint here. Okay. And one thing that it does come with is an alternate head. And in fact, we'll go ahead and pop that on now. Let's go ahead and angle the camera up some. So we can see it. And I'm just going to pop it off at the ball joint. Try not to make that too hard. It is a tight ball joint, so if it feels like it's going to break, you know, it's not going to break. Don't be too worried, but yeah, you see I just popped the chest off there trying to move it off. So that's something that's to be expected, and I've literally done this 20, 30 times already now. All right, and let's get that new head popped on. Make sure to hold it in the front of the head so that it gets on the ball joint well. Okay, and there we go with the... New head from Mock Toys there. Okay, the one that's different than the than the original. So let's go ahead and move the light into the front so we can see it. And give me one second, I'm actually gonna switch lenses. I will be right back. Alright, and we are back with a more detailed view of the new head. The lens that's a little bit more detailed. But as you can see here, it does have the mouth that moves up and down. So if you want to go ahead and close that, it is tight. So one thing that I personally have a problem with is being able to just move it up and down on, you know, my lonesome. Without having to bend the visor up, anything like that. Or the top of the helmet. But yeah, looks a lot better in hand than it did in the preview pictures and things like that. That's for damn sure. And it also has the option here of bringing down the visor. Not the biggest fan, but I'll show you guys for sure. Give me one second here. Sorry, the chest piece is just annoying the heck out of me with the way it's aligned. Okay. So there are two buttons on the side here. And I'm just going to go ahead and press down on each side. Make sure it's down all the way, and yeah, there we go. We have Old Blind Man Devastator. And that's exactly what he reminds me of. A lot of people say Jigsaw, but he really reminds me of a blind old man you just see on a park bench, happy as can be. So, not the biggest fan of the new head. I do love the options that they included, though. And props for the creativity, because I mean, at the end of the day, it still does come with the old head too. And just so you guys do know, the top of the helmet here, it does pop off, or pop up, because the faces of the two heads, let me go ahead and use my other hand, hand here, they're actually interchangeable. So if you do want to go ahead and put this face on the other helmet or vice versa you're more than free to so that's an awesome little tidbit the only problem is if you use the new face on this one since this one doesn't have a built-in up and down visor um, you won't get the option for a visor you'll just have his plain um, eyed face so yeah that's that 
All right, and I'm actually gonna continue with this lens, and I'm just gonna move the camera out a bit without being too intrusive. All right, taking a better look at him. All right, and we already went over the removable crane when we looked over mobile crane as an individual bot, but let's check out something cool that it can do with the whole removable function. So we're gonna go ahead and take the crane off here, and we'll go ahead and put it up some. What I'm going to do now is disassemble the plasma rifle here. Just pull it all apart again. Get it all back to its original form. Okay. Alright. And what I am going to do here, make sure that's pointing downwards. All right, there are slots on each side of the crane here. What I'm gonna do is, if I can remember how to do this correctly, dun, 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 challenged. Okay, there we go. All right, pegs at the bottoms of the rifle right here. And I am just going to this up. Actually take it to the other side here. It's one side. There's the other side. So there's that. Take one half of the blaster and peg it in to the front here. And sorry, the pegs are actually really small. That's why this is taking a little bit of time here. Because it's hard to get together. Okay, so there's that. I'll go ahead and do the other side. Extending that out some. Okay. And here's that. And what I'm going to do is just tilt his hand some. And believe it or not, this actually slides into place just like the rifle. Oops. Peg that back into the front there. And there you go. Now he has a war axe. Which isn't the coolest thing in the world. But at the same time, it's different, and even though I'm not the biggest fan of it aesthetically, it, it's a nice option, you know what I mean, to do with some of that kibble. So, it looks neat. It is, it, it's creative, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, overall, just a neat piece of this figure that I wanted to go ahead and point out. And the yellow version definitely doesn't do that. The cranes are completely different. And there are no pegs for the rifle pieces to peg on to like the green version has. So definitely a nice little pickup between the head, the crane, the options with the crane. The green version is definitely the better bang for the buck because they're about the same price. And the green version comes with all of these extras that the yellow definitely doesn't. So alright. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and just back the camera up a bit more. Put this a bit over to the side more and yeah go around here and what we're going to do now is just go ahead and take a look at some of the posability playability of the toy so we're going ahead and sliding that axe out bringing him back because honestly one of the best parts about this bot is the amount of articulation and overall balance that it has so as we went over with the head, totally ball jointed. Shoulders fully ratcheting, both up and down, in and out. Strong ratchets too. Elbows, definitely ratchet joints. Full swivel at the bicep. Wrist rotation, 
individually articulated fingers, but the fingers are permanently bent. Okay. He does have some limited waist swivel there, as you can see, which is awesome. Thighs ratcheted in both ways, like we went over with dump truck. Oh, and I almost forgot to swivel the feet down correctly to cover up his knees. So there you go. Okay. Now speaking of the knees, he definitely does have full bend, which is awesome. He does have thigh swivel. And now, just making sure that I have a good view of the feet there. Bring the camera down some. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. The ankle articulation just really shines out. Fully ball jointed ankle articulation with a good amount of support on both sides. So when it comes to his posability, playability, etc., etc., he's definitely got it all. You know, he's. Some people prefer Herc. Um, I love the look of Hercules or whatever, but the playability of this one is just undeniable. Overall, my toys Green Giant is a very, very, very welcome addition to my shelf. I was afraid personally because of the fact that, you know, I already had the yellow version and things like that. And with all the playing and playing, posing, photographing, etc., etc., I felt like, you know, not only was it kind of limited room on my shelf for another Devastator with the same mold especially, but also like emotionally or mentally another enough room to really review, be excited for him, etc., etc. And I'm not going to lie, seeing him in hand and stuff like that, it really revived a lot of interest that I have in both Devastator and this mold itself. Mike Toys, they did a good job of fixing a lot of complaints that people had with the first version. And I'll also be doing a comparison video to the yellow so you can see what all those fixes or what all fixes um, are entailed in that. But anyways, for now, this has been a pretty long look at Mock Toys Giant Type 6-1 or Type G-1, however you want to put it. Green Giant is what everybody calls them anyway. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys pick him up because he's well worth your money. This is another Kuma Style review. This is TJ Duckett signing out. Have a great one, guys.